Hey y'all. I just wanted to catch up with you for a minute and uh, <coughs> sorry about the congestion. And I don't know what's going on up there in this area here. Um, that I, this is a second installment of stories from my childhood. And I want to share with you uh, something that happened between me and my younger brother when we were kids. I think I was about nine and he was about eight. And we were we lived in on the we lived on a farm, and we used to play in the hayloft all the time. Well, my dad he had farm machinery like just outside the barn. Like if you looked out the front of the hayloft, because there was it was not enclosed. There was no enclosure at the front of the barn up up on the hayloft. So yeah, if you stood at the front of the hayloft, you could look down and see the ground. Well, Dad had a disc down there. It's a piece of farm machinery. And Fred and I, we were playing chase through the hayloft. And then, for some reason, we went to the front of the hayloft and we stopped and we were just looking all around outside. And we looked down and saw that disc sitting there and I told him I was messing with him. I didn't really intend to hurt him or anything. But I told him, I said, I'm going to push you. I'm going to push you just playing, you know. So I reached up and I put my hand on his in the middle of his back and I was just going to like barely touch him. Well, I accidentally pushed him harder than I meant to and he fell. Oh my God, I about had a heart attack. I went scrambling down the ladder and was yelling, Mom, I've killed him, I've killed him. Mom, come quick, I've killed him, I've killed him. And she, I, she came out and she's like, why, who's yelling, why are you yelling? And I, I let her out to the barn. I said, Mom, I've killed him. I, I pushed. I didn't mean to. I, I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I just, we were playing and I, put, I pushed Fred out of the front of the hayloft. And we walked out there and by the time we got over there, Fred was standing up, walking around. Nothing wrong with him. Not, not a thing wrong with him. Not a scratch, not a bruise. And I mean, I felt holding to him because I almost killed him. I said, I, I told him, I just kept telling him, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to push you, I didn't mean, I was just playing, I didn't mean it. And, you know, he was very forgiving. He said, I know you didn't mean it, Mary, I know you didn't mean it. That was one of the, that was one of the scariest things that ever happened to me in my childhood. But, all right, y'all, that's it for today's video. I just wanted to share that little tidbit with you. This, if y'all are enjoying this series, just let me know, and I'll, I'll continue it. If you don't really care to hear about it, let me know that too, and I'll stop. I'm just going to continue to post until, you know, I get enough people saying, hey, I don't want to hear your stories from your childhood, or, you know, pick different subject matter or whatever. But also, I want to apologize for this right here. I don't know what's going on with my chest. I don't know if I'm coming down with bronchitis. That's what it feels like, but... I know the, uh, the last night I was sweating bullets and freezing at the same time, shivering and sweating. And I woke up today not feeling any good. Right now I'm about wore out, so I'm going to go back to bed and get some rest. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.